Hi guys, in this video we are going to focus on bone markings. If you look at the bones that I have on the screen here, we can see that there is a pelvis, which is comprised of several different structures, and a vertebrae, which has a very distinct shape. The appearance of these distinct shapes requires specific naming, not just for the bone, but for the common features. What we'll focus on over the next few videos is naming these common features and describing what they mean. So this video now will focus on bone projections that act as attachment points specifically for muscle and ligament. So we've got our pelvis and vertebra that we'll be using as the examples. Now the first structure we're going to focus on is something called a crest. The crest is a prominence of the bone that often has the appearance of a narrow ridge. So if we have a look up here on our, the crest of the ilium, we can see this structure here. So that will be called the iliac crest. With uh, bone markings, we usually use the abbreviation for the bone and then the actual name of the marking. So in this case, iliac crest. The next marking we're looking at now is called a spine and not the spine on your back, a spine bone marking. So it's often sharp and pointed and slender. So we're just marking out the back of the ischium here. And we can see that it's quite sharp and it's going to be pointing towards the posterior side of the body. And that will be called the ischial spine. Ischial just the abbreviation of ischium and then our bone marking name, so spine. Tuberosity is a little bit different. A tuberosity is a, a large and round projection and it's often quite roughened. So if we look on the bottom of the ischium again over here, we can see this ischial tuberosity here is a, quite a rough surface and it's very large as well. So that again is just going to be called the ischial tuberosity. So as we can see now, there's quite a common naming pattern that we're starting to use. And we can get a, get a hang of how to use it properly and how to abbreviate bone names properly. The next one we're going to look at is called a process. A process will just be any prominence of bone on the body. So if you look down here at the vertebra, I'm just outlining this process here that's pushing directly out from the vertebra and that's going to be called your spinous process. To look at the next couple of uh, projections we're going to have to go to a different bone and the bone we're going to be using is the femur. So the next bone marking we're looking at now is the trochanter. The trochanter is going to be very large, uh, blunt, and irregularly shaped. Now, this bone marking is a process that's only found on the uh, femur of the body. So this is a very specific bone marking. So as we can see, trochanter uh, on the lateral surface of the uh, bone there. Before we move on, guys, just reminding you that all of these bone markings we're looking at now are specifically bone markings that are used as attachment points for muscle and ligaments. Now the next bone marking we're going to be looking at is a tubercle. A tubercle is a much smaller and rounded uh, muscle or ligament attachment point within the body. And the uh, tubercle that we're going to be using as an example, again on the femur, you can see just this border along the side here is very uh, very small and it's going to be called the adductor tubercle. Now the adductor is not named after a bone as we saw with most of the uh, previous bone markings. It's actually named after the muscle that attaches to it. So we're moving on to our epicondyle now. An epicondyle is a prominence that's going to be above a condyle. So if we look on the medial and lateral sides here we're going to see two epicondyles and they're named based on their position. So the medial 
or lateral epicondyle, just writing here, medial epicondyle and lateral as well. I'll just point out quickly here the condyle that these two epicondyles are sitting above. Now the condyle is not a uh, bone marking that's related to muscle or ligament, it's actually related to joints, so we'll discuss that one in a different video. The last bone marking we're going to be looking at here is called a, a line. A line is a relatively narrow ridge of bone that is not quite as prominent as the crest that we discussed earlier. If we look here we can see a line forming along the trochanter. That will just be called the intertrochanteric line. This has been all the bone markings for muscle and ligament attachment points. In the next video we'll look at the markings that help to form joints. Now I hope this has been helpful guys and as always thanks for watching.